Thank you for organizing this meeting, Arne from the Battery Commodity Twitter account. Uh, then I have a question for you, Ash, as you're an industry special uh, operating in the battery space specifically. Now, this YouTube channel has dedicated multiple videos, if not hundreds of videos at this point, to investing in graphite specifically, which of course is a material that can be used in um, anodes. Um, but there are other materials which can be used as an anode material. For example, silicone is used quite regularly. And like you've said, Amprius has uh, proven this material to work quite well with uh, really impressive capacities. Now, what are your thoughts, Ash, on this comparison? Uh, is graphite the benchmark anode material to go uh, heading into the future? Or should we be worried about silicone? Well, there's going to be combinations of both. But first, before we dive in, let's think about the anode again. Um, so. Think about the anode like a sponge, right? It absorbs the lithium ions as the battery is charging. And so you have to be able to absorb a lot of lithium ions, but then you have to also be able to squeeze them all out when it's discharging. Um, and when you, when you do that, you don't want any of them to be left behind because if you're always losing some lithium ions that are stuck in it, um, you get less capacity overall for your battery and that's degradation. Right, so you have to you have to have a very good sponge that can absorb things very well, and also release them very well. And so graphite is a good start, um, but it's thick, it's irregular, it's not consistent. It only you know a carbon atom only binds to one lithium ion, uh, but a silicon can bind up to four or six lithium ion depending on the structure. Right, so immediately you get you get a four times a fourfold increase in the amount of lithium ions that can be absorbed on the anode, and so that's really good. It would be fantastic to be able to have a full silicon anode. Um, the problem is that, and I remember that from more than ten years ago when they were just starting to experiment with it. Um, it, it it the battery actually physically swells as it's absorbing the lithium. It 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 literally just like, um, inflates itself, right? And for a battery pack, that causes a lot of issues because you lose all your structural rigidity. And if your cell is not well constructed, it'll just burst. And so the more the percentage of silicon you add to the, to the graphite inode, uh, the more it swells. And that's the problem that the industry has been trying to solve. Um, most applications are, uh, you know, even Tesla included, have managed to implement up to 5% silicon in the anode while controlling that swelling effect. Um, but beyond that requires some more careful engineering. Um, and some companies have managed to do that. So that's what's getting exciting. 